Hello and welcome to Thought for September the 26th. Our readings are 1 Chronicles chapter 9, Ezekiel 22 and Luke chapter 19. And our thought is, because you have been faithful. Today's chapter in Luke chapter 19 first records the conversation of a tax collector as Jesus enters Jericho. This man received him, that is Jesus, joyfully, we read in verse 6. His declaration and his actions demonstrate his repentance. But others were grumbling. He has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner, we read in verse 7. And this leads Jesus to declare, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Verses 9 and 10. How few seek salvation today. They do not see themselves as lost. Indeed, so few know there is anything to be found. Then Jesus tells a parable as he nears Jerusalem. Because they suppose that the kingdom of God was to appear immediately. We read in verse 11. We sense we are living today at a time when the kingdom of God will very soon appear. There follows the story about ten servants, who are each given the same amount of money, ten miners, and told to engage in business until I come. Verse 13. Then when he returned, having received the kingdom, he ordered these servants to whom he had given the money to be called to him that he might know what they had gained by doing business. Verse 15. One has not used his miners as is con- and is condemned, but the others were told, Well done, good servant, because you have been faithful in a little, you shall have authority over ten or five cities. We read in verse 17. This is a simple parable, and its meaning is clear. May our Lord one day soon say to all who are reading this, who also absorb and meditate on the scriptures they read or hear read each day, and who are then living their lives by doing business for their Lord according to their talents. Hear their Lord say, Well done, good and faithful servant, because you have been faithful in a very little you shall have. Well, let us pray that brings joyful news. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Mm-hmm.